Yeah, Salaki had a little technical difficulties, but um, as I was mentioning, you got people in that spirit of that doubting, all right, doubting the Lord, living in the Lord's spirit, man, worried about, well, I know, you know, yeah, they say we going to eat and everything like that. I know y'all talking about have faith, but what are we going to do? You know, it's like, nigga, we just told you we're going to believe in the Lord and he's going to take care of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear you, but uh, I mean, we going to need money. So what are we going to do about like looking carnally? It's like, look, man, believe in the believe in the blueprint. Mm -hmm. All right. We didn't watch the film. All right. It said we didn't watch the film. We saw we won. OK. We ain't got to know all the intricacies that are ins and outs, but we know at the end of the day, we will be on top, all right, through our Lord Yahweh Shai, all right? But, uh... Going back to Second Peter? Yep. Back in Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 19, again, it says, We have a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye, have, whereunto ye do well, that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn, and the day star arise in your hearts. Right, so you will do well if you take heed unto... What? These prophecies, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Listening, hearkening unto them, man. You know, because this is encouraging. Yeah. Here it is. People is tripping out about if we're going to go to war. They're tripping out about if there's going to be a draft. They're tripping out about these immigrants crossing the borders. All these people tripping out about the collapse of this society. And yet, we're rejoicing right. seeing these things. Right? Yeah, we cheering on. Yeah. Yeah, we still talking shit to Esau. Yeah. How is that? Why is that? Because we know the end result. Yeah. All right. We know that it, it, no matter, it, it's all falling into place, man. You know, here it is. It, you you see interception thrown. You know, people like, oh, man, it's an interception, man. We finna fucking lose, man. This and that and the third. And we're like, oh, yeah, no, nah, the Lord already told us that interception was going to happen there. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it had to happen. It's all good, but we still going to win in the end. Yeah. It's already written that Esau is going to come down with great wrath. But it says that the Lord will deliver... Um, How's it worded that he uh, should deliver? Oh, when when he comes down with a great wrath, then uh, he should lift up a standard. Or am I putting two? Isaiah, yeah, you mixed yeah. it. Uh, Revelation 12 and 12, and then Isaiah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaiah yeah, 59. Crown, crown. But yeah, it's, well, well, the Lord is going to lift up that standard re re regardless, man. You know? Yeah, this is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood... The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. Con, yeah, so when the enemy is going to come in like a flood, it says that the Lord is going to lift up that standard. All right, so we honestly, we have nothing to be afraid of. We have the scriptures to uh, to comfort us. You know, uh, it says, uh, my mind is uh, fixed trusting in Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh man. Yeah. This, this wisdom is going to have a stable in the times to come, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we're not going to be worried about... Uh, of course, you know, we're in the flesh, so we're going to have certain feelings and emotions about certain things. But ultimately, we have Yahweh Shah to lean upon our, uh, so we don't be overly distressed, you know, overly uh, uh, um, turned aside of what we believe in, man. Yeah, we ain't got a trip, even though it looked like an interception, was, you know, yeah. interception was thrown or a fumble happened here and there. Yeah, that's what it looked like. But the end game, the end result is getting the victory. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab that precept you quoted, Psalms 112 and 7. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. What mm -hmm. is evil yeah, tidings? Yeah. Evil tidings is what? Bad news, yep. right? So we're not going to be afraid of bad news. Right. right? We can't let, let fear overtake our minds. Right. Oh, man, this happened and that happened. It's all good, man. Right. It's all good. Everything is going according to plan, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to fulfill all his pleasure. Mm -hmm. And he's predestined, all right, the victory to already happen. Once again, our forefathers saw the victory. He saw them getting crowned, right? Mm -hmm. He saw the elect getting their reward yeah. for overcoming, right? As we're going to read, man. It says, he shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. So we have to have our heart fixed, trusting in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, trusting in his words and what he said. It says, his heart is established. All right. So here it is. If you're literally watching a pre-recorded pre -recorded game, all right, how how can you even yeah. trip out about yeah. what's going on in the middle of it? It's like, I haven't seen this so many times, man. So just putting a per certain perspective out there when we're going through different things, mm -hmm. you know, not to get over it overly. Uh, the scripture says, be careful for nothing, yep. but with prayer and supplication, make our requests be made known unto him. That word care means to be full of anxiety or, or, or worry or doubt or fear. Right. So it says, look, man, don't worry about all of that, man. All right. Don't let fear overtake our minds, man. We know what's going. We know what the end result is going to be. But it says, uh, his heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. So our enemies are going to be put underfoot. Heathen, uh, uh, Esau and the rest of the heathen, they're going to go into slavery under us, man. Right? <laughs> 
all these things, man, you know, and this should encourage us to continue in the faith uh, and, and, and holding fast to our faith, regardless of the fire or the trials and tribulations that we find ourselves in, man. Uh, that was in that Isaiah 59. Was that in that uh, Peter? Mm -mm. Come on, go ahead. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep reading uh, verse 20. It says, knowing this first that that no so like it says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. And that's another thing. It ain't like we making it up. All right. We ain't making these things up ourselves. Or, well, we think this is going to happen and that's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? All right. Nah, we, we, this is all from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh yeah. All right. We know clearly what's going to go down. We ain't guessing. Right. All right. We ain't guessing, man. All right. I mean, is the MO, is the uh, MOTV the C hit? You know? It, right, man, is it really finna be a nuclear destruction? Nah, man, we ain't guessing about that. We already know what's up, man. Yeah. You know? We know that the Lord is gonna return in this generation just according to all the prophecies, man. So we already know what the deal is, man. So we don't have to worry or, or, or be afraid, man. We got that sure word of prophecy. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Uh, verse 21, it says, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, mm -hmm. but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. All right, so it was the Holy Spirit, man. It goes back to uh, that second Exodus. It talks about, uh, 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 it mentions uh, Isaiah and Jeremiah. It says, whose counsel I have sanctified, man. All right, the prophets have a sanctified counsel. All right, that word counsel means to, uh, advice or instruction. So the advice and the instruction that we've been given is from the heavens. So that's why we're, we have to trust in the game plan. Look, continue to run these plays. All right, don't veer off from it. And you're going to win in the end. Okay? Trust the process. All right? You know, imagine you huddling up, man. You know, a hey, coach give a play. He's like, all right, we finna run this play. We finna run down the middle. Man, you got a nigga, all right, in the huddle. Man, we finna run down the middle, man. Them niggas been, they been blocking up the middle the whole game. They been blitzing, bringing in worry and doubt. Look, trust the game plan. Yeah. That's what coach said, dude. That's what we doing. Mm -hmm. And we believe that we're going to uh, uh, get the victory, all right, if we execute just yeah. like coach told us to do. Yeah. It's the same thing yeah. in the spirit, man. Hey, we have to have that spirit of uh, Caleb and, uh, and Joshua, man. All right, when they went to go spy out the land, all right, you had all them other Israelites that went to go spy out with them. They had an evil report. They was like, man, we like grasshoppers in the sight of, you know, all these nations, man. How are we going to get this land and X, Y, and Z? All right. But Joshua and Caleb was like, man this, man, this land is ripe for the taking. Meat, all right? We finna get the victory over them, man, you know? And that's the same mentality we gotta have, man. Look, I don't know what these niggas is talking about. All this fear and doubt. The Lord said we gonna win, and we gonna win, man. We gonna get that victory. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 15, and verse uh, 2. It says, Revelation 15 and 2, And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. All right, and this is speaking about what? The nuclear destruction, all right, when the earth is reeling to and fro like a drunk, drunkard, right? You know, this is the elect above the firmament and the uh, and, and the so-called UFOs, the chariots of Israel, right? Looking down, all right, upon what? America being burned, that sea of glass mingled with fire above the ozone layer, right? But it says, um, and them that had gotten the victory, I'm gonna read it from the top, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image and over his mark. So that's the dove right there. This is a vision of what's to come. This is future prophecy. So the victory is already uh, sealed, man. It says, um, and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. And they sung and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord, power al almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. All right. But just showing that what? That we got that victory, man. But once again, we have to believe. Okay. Because this word isn't going to uh, profit us unless it be mixed with faith. Mm -hmm. All right. This is 1 John chapter 5. In verse, uh, 1 John chapter 5 and verse 4. It says, For whatsoever is born of the Most High overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So our faith in Yahweh Shai and these words, that's going to allow us to get the victory, right? And it's already sealed. So uh, obviously those individuals that John saw, that Ezra saw in 2nd Ezra, the second chapter, they kept their faith through the end, man. You know? So we have to keep that through the end and, and we'll, we'll overcome just like it is written, just like we're reading here in prophecy, man. But you got anything up?
No, that, that was that was point. Kind of, so Lord's will, that was edifying, man. We're gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Bahasham, Rakakurash. The honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone rule well. Peace and salutations to the hope of the leg, pushing out this word and all sincerity and the truth. With that, we're gonna say shalom. Shalom.